Okay, hello. This is Devin Connors with Miniature Aircraft USA. Uh, I believe it is, let's see, Germany time. It is 4.18 in the morning. Perfect time for a tutorial. So, um, these new blade grips, they have a little nub on the inside, so some people may find it difficult to get their thrust bearings in, and there's a reason for that. So, if you, these, these should come pre-assembled from the factory. Uh, here as such with the bearings and thrust bearings greased and spacers and other radial bearing already pressed in and installed but if you do maintenance at your house or wherever you may be um, this is how to do it properly uh, so after you take everything out you press the new bearings in press the new rear bearing or inner bearing in rather and that's fairly straightforward, press it in, you're done. Now, here comes the important part. You take your thrust bearing as an inner diameter that's larger than the other one, and lucky me, it just so happens to be this one, you can tell, because you can do that on a spindle shaft. And this one is a junk spindle, it's a little bit large right here. Uh, again, parts quality control, that's why we're waiting on so many parts, is because people can't get us the right right spec. So this is the tighter one, as you can see, and the larger inner diameter one goes in first, and you're going to make a bunch of really bad noises, but you press it down past the little groove that you can see in there that we have ground away with the lathe to the correct spec. So you press it in, and then you basically flatten it, and then that's in. So the loud noises are over with for the most part. Then you take your thrust bearing, and you grease your thrust bearing with premium miniature aircraft grease. There we go. You can never have too much grease. That's grease, drop that guy in, make sure it's the correct way up, and then drop this other guy in with a smaller inner diameter. And here's where the four in the morning part starts to show. Make sure to grease both sides of the thrust bearing. Just for fun. There we go. And drop this guy back in. Okay, and then you take one of these washers, part number 131183. And then you drop it in after the thrust bearings. And then you drop in your final bearing. And this, as long as it stops running away, you can press in with preferably something of the same diameter as the outer race of the bearing itself so that you don't destroy the bearing, putting it into the blade grip. And there you have it. That's how we pre-assemble these blade grips at the factory. And we just do that over and over and over again until they're all done with. So, I hope that unconfuses some people if they're confused as to why thrust bearings are having a hard time going in to the blade grip. Um, yeah, Miniature Aircraft signing off.